What's up, everybody? Told you I wouldn't abandon you. You thought I ran off and left you? There we go. Now, let's get back to school. Since there hasn't been a lot of boxing activity going on, it's all about brewing. All of the fights that are brewing up. That's all the attention that you're going to see so far. So the rest of the boxing public who don't know how to cover the sport, who used to cover them, football, basketball, and everything else, it is fun for people like myself to watch them scramble around and try to come up with something. Because it makes them look ridiculous and stupid. So I... To, Days like today are really funny to read the articles that's posted up on the so-called giant boxing websites. And then you read stuff like, Manny Pacquiao has arrived off the plane! I wonder what he's going to do when he gets in the gym today. You know, it's, it's real funny and entertaining for me to watch. Stuff like that. And read it. But, um, let me tell you what's going on with uh, Amir Khan. Now he has basically two options. He has Robert Guerrero now that his situation with Richard Schaefer and him is a little better now. And he signed with Al Heyman. He's back on track with the program. Now, since that has been done, they can inject him into this Amir Khan Colazo situation. Um, here's the thing. It's very risque to put him in with Luis Colazo who if Colossa wins you really have a problem because now you're like man we gotta we haven't really marketed Colossa you know a lot of people have heard of his story just seen him in that one fight and now if he wins this fight he's right in line for a Mayweather shot and he's an odd ball he could embarrass Amir Khan he's a softball who's a cagey fighter bad matchup for Khan but he's also the safest option for Khan. But Robert Guerrero, Robert Guerrero, the X Factor. And the reason why he's the X Factor is because they were supposed to fight. <coughs> I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but they were supposed to fight before he fought Zab Judah. He came to Robert Guerrero, they had a conversation. <coughs> he said, uh, Robert, you know, I'm not going to fight Zab Judah. You know, I, Zab's washed up. I'm not, that's not even what I'm, the direction I'm going in. You know, I respect you. You're a champion. You're a warrior. You're a fighter. You know, I want to fight you. And they told him that we're going to fight you next. You know, there's no problem. We'll do it. Easy fight. It was going to be Robert Guerrero's first fight at 140 pounds. And he said, fine, I'll make the fight. Uh, next thing you know, no one's answering phone calls. Nobody's uh, maneuvering, and Khan's like, "Oh no, 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 don't worry. You know, you're still the number one option right now. They're just spinning their wheels right now, trying to build interest." But I already told them I want to fight Robert Guerrero, and it's gonna it's gonna be you. The next thing you know, the fight is announced. Amir Khan is fighting Zab Judah, and they're trying to get answers as to why the fight didn't take place. No answer from Khan. No answer from <laughs> from HBO. There's no answer anywhere on the planet. Never got a response back from Amir Khan. And then a message got back from Golden Boy saying, "Oh, HBO didn't. They weren't feeling that fight." Oh, and it was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> They weren't feeling the fight. Like, what, what was they supposed to feel in the fight? You know? It's like, they already told them that they were to prove it from the beginning. So how did it go from being approved to not approved? Hey, that's something that's just going to be on the table. But it's a bad blood that was created because of it. So Robert Guerrero really started disrespecting Amir Khan. So Khan started disrespecting him. And those two has a bitter rivalry between the two because they never got a chance to fight. Guerrero thinks he's a liar and a coward, and Khan's like, man, forget the dude, you know, I, I'll beat him easy, you know, and it's his arrogance. So that creates an atmosphere for a fight that you want to see. 
and that's something that could be made. So if he doesn't fight Luis Colazo, I hope it's Robert Guerrero. Any one of those two fights, I'm okay with. Now that Guerrero's got his contract situation taken care of. And for those who didn't know about that, Amir Khan wanted to, not Amir Khan, but Robert Guerrero, his contract, he did not like certain terms and big fights, and he thought he was supposed to get guaranteed money. And the fact that he fought under... New York state law instead of California law that there are changes he can't be in a contract that long but you sign an extension because he wants to find a couple of fights then be able to jump out maybe go fight Manny Pacquiao it's not gonna happen you sign the contract extension which in the contract states New York law applies so if New York law applies and you signed it and you, you fight Floyd now you want to complain and contest it you, you're not gonna win I don't care where you fall. I've never fought in New York. Don't matter. You can fight New Zealand all you want. It's in the contract that says New York state law applies. That one phrase. You're under that law. So you can get waste all your money on court. Waste all your money in California. I'll fight in California. I want California state law. Does not matter. That phrase freeze your little loophole of jumping out of contracts and can't be in a contract longer than seven years mm -mm. one line vetoes that New York state law applies read your contract buddy 